So if you guys didn't hear, Taylor Kniff wants to fight me, alright? Fist fight me. And you know, I'm not the best fighter, but you know, I never take L's. You know I don't like taking L's. So I'm about to hit the gym. Me and my trainer are about to uh, get ready. Because I don't take L's. I'm about to rock his shit, bro. Talking that shit online, bro. <laughs> now I'm really fucking mad, bro. Now I'm really fucking mad. First it was my channel, and now he wants to talk that shit online. On me, bro, get him. Bro, can you help me? <laughs> I can't have this shit on. <laughs> when you see him, bro, you gotta... <laughs> <laughs> Get him, bro. <laughs> so before I talk about how Taylor Kniff wants to fight me, all right, I just want to say, if you haven't seen my last video, you should probably watch it or you'll be really confused about this whole entire video. But basically, if you're too lazy to watch it, I'll just recap it for you. Basically, this guy named Taylor Kniff got my YouTube channel taken down, and I talked about how sad I was, and, you know, just, I was pretty devastated. But, I went to the studio and dropped the best diss track of 2016 on this Taylor kid. And I'm not sure if you guys are aware of the aftermath that this video created, all right, all right? It's just crazy. Literally, the first day, the first 24 hours the video was out, all right? It got 100,000 likes. And then another thing happened, right? And then keep in mind that I did not ask you guys to do this. You guys just went out your way and did this, right? If you go on Taylor Kniff's Instagram, literally every comment was just L's. You guys were literally just casually handing him L's. And I didn't ask you guys to do this, and you guys just went out your way. I'm so proud of you guys. But anyways, besides from that, you guys also went on his music video and were just roasting him, just cooking him in the comment section. And it's pretty funny. Like, I just raised you guys and you guys are growing up so fast. And you guys are roasting people on your own. And anyways, no, no, I just want to say I literally have like the best supporters in the world. Thank you for that. And 100,000 likes on the first day is just incredible incredible and now time for the juicy stuff so the man the myth the legend himself taylor kniff sees my video and here's my diss track and let me say he's not very happy all right he's he's furious and really i don't blame him because i kind of said well you need to keep a shirt on got nothing to flex how long does it take for food to travel down your neck so yeah, he's not so happy and he's pretty angry at this point. And the first thing he does is drop a video on Twitter. Finally here, Rice Gum finally decides to call me out. And there's one way we can handle this is I was waiting for this moment because this dummy was dumb enough to give me all of his information just for a free flight to hang out 13 year old little boys all the way in San Diego. I don't know where the dude's actually from. I don't know anything about him. I ain't looked at it. I ain't put that out there yet. But if you don't accept this invite to meet me one on one in LA, I will post all of that. Just because you want to put my whole life out there. You brought up my entire past, bro. So, you got a one-way flight here. One-way flight here, check your DMs. Why is he wearing all bulls like he plays for them? But, like, keep in mind that he uploads this video at, like, 12 o'clock on a Tuesday. Like, 12 a.m., like, at night on a Tuesday. So, you know damn well he's not going anywhere. He just wanted to dress up to flex on Twitter and he actually wore the same exact outfit in his music video so you know this is his go-to best outfit ever and actually I don't even know why he's using hanging out with 13 year olds as an insult because this dude 
I'm not even exaggerating, hangs out with 13 year olds every day. Not even exaggerating. Jacob is his best friend. Anyways, back to the video, but actually I got a question. Is this considered blackmailing? I ain't put that out there yet, but if you don't accept this invite to meet me one-on-one -on -one in LA, I will post all of that. Or white mailing. But anyway, so this guy is really this mad over a diss track that he wants to fly me out to him so he can fight me, and if I don't, he's gonna expose my information, whatever that means, right? So he's really this angry. He really wants to fight me. So now, time for the good part, the DM. So he DMs me saying, we wanna get you another flight, but this time, instead of meeting 13-year-old boys, you can come and meet me. <laughs> we'll pay for it again because we know YouTube don't pay very good. What? Boy. Hello? And then he DMs me saying, it was funny, but it doesn't help any of us out, bro. It's as big as it's gonna get now. What? Like, I mean, I mean, I, like, it might not help you out, but I mean, it's gonna help me out. So then at this point, I was like, you know what? I'm bored on a Tuesday night. I'm about to bait him, all right? I'm about to play with him a little bit, right? So I was like, so you want me to delete it? And look what this guy says, man. He says, you delete it and act like nothing happened and I will tweet at you saying respect. Whoa. And then he says, I will never bring anything up. You got real followers, bro. Like a real big future being funny and you're burning all those bridges by one video. Who does this guy think he is burning what bridge? But like, wait, at first he was like, yo, my scum. Come down here and fight me one on one, or I'm gonna expose you. And as soon as I'm like, you know what, I might delete it, he's like, yo, bro, you got a future, you're funny, just delete them. Like, he hella switched up on me. So he was really trying to kiss my ass, so I delete the video, right? So I was like, you know what, I got your ass, man, I'm not deleting that shit. And then he DMs me saying, we don't play out here, I'm not Jacob. I'm Tony with a team who stays with me. A team that stays. I am not scared of you and your team. You roll with other scrawny white nerds, untalented. I'm not scared of you. And then I was like, you know what? You just said your team is in LA. I'd rather not get jumped. Whatever. He said, 1v1, sell it like men, I'll buy your flight. And I was like, dude, I live in Vegas. And Vegas and Cali is like right next to each other. So, um, he was like, yo, yes, I can come tonight, driving only two hours, like, he got so hyped. So right now, at this point, he's driving to Vegas, he's like, so mad. And so I DM him saying, we doing gloves or just fist? And he said, fist, bro, let's go. Address right now, I'll come to you. Right, wait, wait, hold on, what? Address right now, I'll come to you. He just asked me for my address, which means he doesn't have it. So... He's all talk. So basically, I didn't even fly down there. He didn't even expose anything. He doesn't even have my address or any information. So he's all talk. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And Wait, we don't play out here. I'm not Jacob. I'm Tony with the team who stays with me. And he tried to blackmail me. And now he's threatening me. Wait. Who does this guy think he is? No one gets away with threatening and blackmailing race gum. Now, I'm really mad. Bruh, look at this dude. Look at his hair. <laughs> No, but thank you so much for watching. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I guess that's gonna wrap up the video. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. And yeah, guys, I didn't fight him because, like, I got my YouTube channel back and I made a roast video on him and I'm up 1-0 right now. And I'm, like, a really peaceful person, so there's really no point of fighting him. But I mean, if I were to fight him, the fight would go something like this, man. Like, he would, you know, get a couple hits on me with his long-ass neck. But all I would have to do is just hit him in the ribcage, dude, and he'll be out cold. 
Um, <laughs> so that's that. But if the fight does happen, which I really doubt, but if it like, like if he shows up to my house, I'm gonna be obligated to fight him because no one disrespects me like that. Now, if the fight does happen, um, I'll I'll make sure to have someone record it. I mean, there's no way there's not gonna be someone to record it, right? Like no one's gonna miss out on this legendary moment. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, thank you for making it till the end. I've been just loving making videos lately so I might upload tomorrow who knows show some love if you would come to a fight and support me be my cheerleader go race go no but if you guys can drop a like that would be amazing comment and subscribe if you are new I do read every single comment I messed up the order on that but I will see you guys ASAP thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time